Well, safety alert now for parents of infants. Months after the recalls and warnings about popular inclined sleep products, Consumer Reports is sounding the alarm about in-bed sleepers. At least a dozen deaths have been linked to them. 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz explains the risk and what's safest for babies. Many new parents prefer to keep their baby close to make sleep and feedings easier. Let me put him down. It's okay, He's little so man. Tired. But when it comes to in-bed infant sleeper products like the Baby Delight Snuggle Nest, Docatot, and Swaddle Me By Your Side Sleeper, Consumer Reports found major safety issues. Their investigation found in-bed sleepers like these were linked to at least 12 infant deaths between 2012 and 2018. Unlike cribs, bassinets, play yards, and bedside sleepers, in-bed sleepers are not required to meet any federal safety standards related to infant sleep. All of these in-bed sleepers have potentially dangerous design elements, but most notably, the padding and the soft surfaces pose a suffocation risk if the babies roll into the soft fabric. And there are other variables. The adults could inadvertently roll over onto the product and the baby, or even make the product itself unstable so that the baby rolls and turns into the soft bedding of the sleeper. CR contacted all three brands. Docatot declined comment. The makers of Swaddle Me By Your Side Sleeper and The Snuggle Nest say their products are not responsible for any infant deaths, which they say were caused by other factors. Still, CR believes none of these products has been adequately safety tested or adhered to safe sleep recommendations by the American Academy of Pediatrics. CR urges parents to stop using inclined sleepers, in-bed sleepers, or any sleep product that does not meet federal safety standards related to infant sleep. Experts say babies should sleep in a bassinet, crib, play yard, or bedside sleeper without any soft bedding or bumpers. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.